Hi, my name is Derry Franz. Let's solve the problem. We have a quadratic function y equals x squared minus 2x plus 5 and we have to state for this function the axis of symmetry, find the coordinates of the vertex, find the axis intercepts if they exist and sketch the quadratic. Okay, this is our quadratic and in our case a equals 1, b equals minus 2 and c equals 5. The axis of symmetry is x equals minus b divided by 2a which is 2 divided by 2 which is 1. So x equals 1 is our axis of symmetry. This is our axis of symmetry. And now we have to say that our A is positive, it means that shape is concave up. Okay, and vertex. Our vertex, it belongs to our function, our graph, and it belongs to our axis of symmetry. So we can write for the vertex that x equals 1 then since it belongs to the graph we can find y 1 minus 2 plus 5 is 4 so its second coordinate is 4 this is our vertex now axis intercepts okay Let's find y-intercept. y-intercept is point with x-coordinate equals 0. Then y will be 0 minus 0 plus 5. So 5 is our y-intercept. Okay, and now what's about x-intercept? y should be 0. So x squared minus 2x plus 5 is 0 and we have quadratic equation that we have to solve uh, I love to use quadratic formula and in our case it will be using that a is 1, b is minus 2, c is 5 we can get x equals 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 4 by 1 by 5 divided by 2 but 4 by 1 by 5 is 20 so we have under our root 4 minus 20 which is negative and uh, so we don't have real roots of this equation it means that our graph does not intercept our x axis Mm -hmm. So we can sketch it, our graph. Okay. Okay, our vertex, oh, our axis of symmetry is x equals 1. Okay, and our vertex is 1, 4, 3, 4. And y intercept is 5. 3, 4, 5, this is 5, this is 4, this is 0, this is 1, so our graph will be something like that. the idea you can do it better <laughs> thank you very much for staying with me and i uh, hope to see you soon bye